everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're just coming by for the first time you're most definitely welcome so this video will be based on evolution of skills and recent trends in the data analytics industry before i begin let me put it out there if you're looking for where to come in data analysis in three months probably this video is not for you now let's just jump right in right we'll start by highlighting five practical steps in getting into data analytics and now the very first point i would love to highlight is the fact that you need to gain a good understanding of data analytics right and you can literally do this by first of all doing a quick google search so you can just type in what is data analytics also check out the different job roles in data analytics they're literally different job family data analytics right you have the business analyst you have the business intelligence analyst you have the quality assurance analyst you have the customer success analyst you have the program analyst the financial analyst the supply chain analyst they're literally a lot but the bottom line as a data analyst is this using insight gained from analyzing data to make business decisions so the second point would be for you to leverage LinkedIn or any career portal out there just to fine tune and also filter out learnings or skills needed for the role, right? In order to create a learning roadmap for yourself. So you need to start from the end in mind to know how to channel your learning. You need to literally know and understand which of the job families I mentioned above resonate with you personally and find out different skills as well to write needed for the show so check the job descriptions right available for those job roles and also take note of what is needed like the qualification or experience so just imagine right now let's think about this together so there's a very good car that you do have and it's one of the best cars out there and it's well suited for long distance um, driving you know, or long distance journey and it has the best seats the best engines you know even auto drives also like really really good and you are taking it for a ride from let's say Toronto to Mississauga here in Canada but because your map directions is wrong you will never get to your destination now the same applies to your learning journey to becoming a data analyst you need to stand with the end in mind right understand the role you would love and plan accordingly so for example if you want to go for the data analyst route which i am currently i currently work as right your day-to-day -day attacks literally entails um eliminating redundancy in your data set gathering data cleaning data you know providing ad hoc reports presenting your reports and also constantly ensuring that these reports are literally up to date now this is just a broad overview but now let's just you know let's drill it down to the core skills as well as the technologies that are being used as a data analyst right i'll be looking to ensure that at this point we want to understand sql and so so want to understand how to use sql to manipulate data and my recommendation will be for you to first of master excel and sql first as is the bread and butter and the most fundamental skill you will need for data manipulation creating visualization and also querying data from the database so sql is very important because you literally live and breathe sql as a data analyst on the side also understand like the different relational database out there right like my sql snowflake Postgres sql and this will be really helpful for you in the long run because each of these database right they have their own unique sql flavors so do not just go into learning pi tools that's business intelligence tools and start publishing your report on linkedin or twitter i did that right but now I'll tell you do not just do that you really want to be a good data analyst and i think the first step for you to do is actually ensure that you understand excel and sql first you don't want to go out there and just be an average data analyst you want to be a good and a sound data analyst right and now this literally takes me to my next point which is how to use microsoft power bi tools or business intelligence as well as analytics tools secondly learn analytical business intelligence tools and now this is a data analyst favorite in this context um what i mean is that you should ensure to add any visualization tool of your choice but first off not just any visualization tool of your choice but it should be based on industry standard right so this can be tableau microsoft power bi google luca aws quick sites right the last three tools i mentioned this may vary as some companies could be microsoft partners right aws partners or even google partners so this will largely influence the tools that they would use so if there are microsoft partners they will most likely be tilted to using microsoft power bi right for the analytical as well as um visualization tools if they are google partners then be sure that they'll be using or more inclined towards using google Luca because that's a google product right however from my experience 
Um, I would advise to start off with Microsoft Power BI. First off, over 50,000 companies out there worldwide use Power BI to clean, transform, to visualize their data. Also, the tool is user-friendly and it comes with sample data sets. It also allows you to also integrate APIs as well to write and you can also import data into Microsoft Power BI by using SQL as well as um, getting data from different data sources as well too. You also would want to start with Microsoft for Power BI because it has a very interactive as well as responsive community right, and forum for questions and answers so whenever you're stuck you know where to go to for answers. And the last point would be you can also publish your report on the cloud. So I would just advise that Microsoft Power BI is a beginner friendly analytical business intelligence tool for you to start with if you're looking to add any visualization tool to your learning stack. Before I go on, kindly hit the like button as this literally helps my channel to grow and also helps other people who are looking to break into data analytics as well too, so for them to see this video. So now moving on. Starting out, learning SQL, Excel and BI tools are like the most fundamental tools you should have like a strong grasp of, right? I mean, think about it. Um, for these first three, I would recommend that you learn the following. So the first one is um, Excel, like I earlier mentioned. So understand pivot table. Understand the different lookup in your table, right? So like your VLOOKUP, your HLOOKUP. Understand the functions, right? And also index match as well to so the if statement. In SQL, understand group buys, your Windows functions, your rank, your CTEs, your subqueries. I actually have a video just recently where I showed you how to use the different subqueries as well as CTEs, right? It's very important for you to learn how to do this. Also, as an add-on, just learn the basic Python. And also learn a little bit of cloud services. Now, this just as an add-on, it's not like it's 100% important. And now the whole point of this is to ensure that um, you know how to store data in the cloud, right? Data or databases in the cloud. So that's why the whole idea of learning um, how to use different cloud providers like AWS, Amazon Web Services, Google, Google Cloud, the Microsoft Azure, right? And also learning the basics in terms of um, Python. Now only learn the basics for data analysis in Python. And the good thing is that there are already libraries available for you to learn that, right? So there's the pandas, there's the numpy, which is for numerical analysis. So I would also advise that if you can also take some certifications in any of these cloud providers, it'll be good, right? So for example, there is um, the Google Data Analytics Certificate. There's also the Azure Fundamental Data Analytics Certificate as well, too, right? And also, if you can just do one or two tutorials, so I do have a tutorial on my channel at the moment, which is a playlist, right? So you can go on and learn um, how you can even store data in AWS. So you can start off with, it's literally beginner friend that also easy for you to start off with right so all these little ads as, as i said earlier on is just for you to have understanding of how this work in terms of data storage as data analyst so it's just like an extra point for you to take up when starting out in data analysis so you can decide to have it as your tech stack in your learning plan so now the first step will be for you to showcase your skills guys now you've worked a lot build a portfolio right so if you're already working in a company find out ways on how you can actually leverage the skills you've learned to build a data analytics project in your company so the whole point of doing this is for you to gain valuable technical skills and also for you to have a deeper business understanding of how data analytics work right and also tailor it in solving specific business problems as well so, so showcasing what you have learned right by working on projects literally stands you out and i've already mentioned in so many of my previous videos where you can get data sets to start working out if you probably do not work in any company at the moment so i'll just go ahead and just like list out where you can actually like get all these data sets from right and also put it in my description down below so the first one is aws data sets right aws has best real data set out there you have the data world you have the cargo you have the google data search right you have data.gov you have datahub.io so these are other sites where you can actually get and leverage all the available data sets across different domain so i'll always say that work on projects based on the domain you're interested in working in. So if, for example, you want to work in the e-commerce sector, go and look for data out there, right? If, for example, you want to work in FinTech, look for data set out there and work on portfolio project and build your resume on it. So the whole point is just to ensure that you're actually showcasing your skills. Also, if you don't have a LinkedIn page, please ensure you leverage LinkedIn and create a LinkedIn page and also put all those 
as skills and relevant um, projects you've worked on as well too. And you can also go and also create, um, create a GitHub portfolio. It's very easy for you to do that, right? So ensure that you have the project somewhere for you to showcase to your future employer. You work on personal data as well too, right? So let's say analyze your WhatsApp group chat. I think that's a four projects working right or uh, work with, right? Also like cohort retention model, analyzing your bank statements as well too. So understand how you transact and also like your spending and savings expenses whatever right you can analyze that so choose project project based on the domain or job family you want to work with right or work in it literally demonstrates your creativity demonstrates your analytical skills as well as your problem solving skills as well too so in essence work on at least three projects right create a github portfolio create a resume if you don't have one also have a linkedin as um, account as well too and add this project and also prepare for interview based on the technical notes you have as well as the corresponding skills that you have gathered practice by doing mock interviews with your friends or even colleagues around you right now note that for some people the interview process may take a couple of weeks so the whole idea is just to feel comfortable interviewing even if it feels like a new domain altogether and i would say that these are the steps that i would take if i were to start off again in this year as data analyst so one thing i learned when starting out was that i just learned i went straight into power bi i started creating the fancy dashboard i started posting on my linkedin but one thing i found out was that i had to ensure that i wasn't just an average data analyst i had to ensure that i was a good data analyst and one thing i did was to ensure that my excel my sql because these are like the two recommended and fundamental skills that you'd learn or you have to be using on a day-to-day -day as a data analyst i had to hone on that skill very well right so that's why i feel like before you even start posting out there on your linkedin on your twitter please ensure that you have a good and solid understanding of sql and i have a detailed project on that um in my AWS data analytics project, right? So go on in there and work on some of these projects. So thank you so much guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, right? And also like and share as well. So see you in my next video guys. Bye.